I'm the calculus professor and today I'll be talking about surface area. Welcome back. Today we will be talking about section 6.6 .6 on surface area and we'll be starting with problem number 7 which asks us to find the surface area of the surface generated when the curve y equals 8 times the square root of x on the interval from 9 to 20 is revolved around the x-axis. So the first thing that we should talk about for just a second is let's just remind ourselves what is the formula for computing surface area when you revolve around an axis. So surface area is equal to the integral from a to b of 2 pi times my function f of x times the square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared dx. Okay, so that's the formula that I need to remember. Integral from a to b of 2 pi f of x times the square root of 1 plus f prime of x squared dx. That's what I'm using here. So in order to compute surface area, I need to know the function and I need to know the function's derivative. I already know what the function is in this case. My function y is equal to 8 times the square root of x. Uh, so I also need to know what my derivative function is, and the derivative function in this case, y prime, is going to be what? Uh, I bring down the 1 half and I get 4, and then it's x to the negative 1 half. I could write it that way if I want to, or I could say that it's 4 over the square root of x. Okay. So I've got my function, I've got my derivative function, now I'm ready to start plugging things into my formula for surface area. So surface area is equal to the integral from a to b, and we're given the a and b in this case 9 to 20, so we want to take the integral from 9 to 20, 9 to 20 of 2 pi f of x. Well, f of x in this case is 8 times the square root of x times the square root of 1 plus the derivative, which is 4 over the square root of x, quantity squared dx. Okay. And at this point, it's never a bad idea to just check your work real quick. Okay, I've got an a, a, b, a 2 pi, f of x, square root of 1 plus the derivative of x, squared dx. All the pieces are there. Now we just need to integrate this. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll just simplify a little bit, see if I can make this look a little better. So uh, first of all, I see uh, 2 pi and 8 are all constants, so we could pull that constant outside of the integral and write this as 16 pi. Uh, and on the inside, we get the integral from 9 to 20 of the square root of x times the square root of 1 plus, and now let's square this guy. 4 squared is 16, square root of x squared is x dx. Since I have a square root times a square root, I could put that x inside of this square root, and if I do, I get 16 pi integral from 9 to 20 of the square root. So just multiply x by 1 to get x, multiply x by 16 over x to get 16 dx. And now this problem is just a u substitution. So look quickly, I'll say let's let u be um, x plus 16. du is dx. So no fancy manipulation here. I can just make my substitution. I still have a 16 pi on the outside. Uh, and then I get integral of the square root of u du 
Now let's plug in these values in for x. If I plug 9 in for x, I get that u would be 25. And if I plug in 20 for x, I get that u would be 36. So now we're integrating from 25 to 36. Let's take an antiderivative, and I get 16 pi times the antiderivative of the square root of u is u to the 3 halves times 2 thirds. All of that evaluated from 25 to 36. All right. Um, <clears throat> let's plug things in. Uh, the 2 thirds could come out here with the 16. If it did, I'd get 32 pi over 3 times. Uh, plugging in the 36, what do we get here? I get 36 square rooted, then cubed. So the square root of 36 is 6. 6 cubed is what? 216. So we get 216 minus uh, I plug in 25, I take the square root of 25 is 5, and I cube that, and I get 125. All right, so we get uh, 32 thirds times 216 minus 125 is 75 plus 16, 80, 90 what? 91. Um, times pi. Okay, I'm um, making sure here that I did this right. 75, 85, 91. Looks good. Okay, so everything's good. Now we just need to multiply this out. 32 times 91, um, that's going to be 2912 over 3 times pi. And so the answer to how much surface area there would be on this curve over this interval when this curve is revolved around the x-axis would be 2,912 over 3 pi. Um, and what is the units on that? Well, it's a surface area. Area is measured in square units, so this would be in units squared.